this is tooth dissecting forcep and this will have a tooth at the tip of the one blade and a groove at the tip of the other blade the tooth are designed so that the tissue may be better gripped and there is less chance of slipping this is used to hold the tough structures like skin fascia and aponeurosis This is fine tipped tooth dissecting forcep or Edson's tooth dissecting forcep. This is used to hold the cut margins of the prepuce for suturing during circumcision. These are Debake's plain dissecting forcep. This will have transverse serration at the tip of the blades which helps in lifting the tissue and needle during the suturing. And there are grooves on the shaft of the instrument which allows easy gripping. This is used almost in all operation to hold delicate structures like peritoneum, vessels, nerves and muscles during dissection and suturing. This is Mayo's blunt pointed scissors. It can be used for cutting sutures or dressing or it can be used during appendicectomy operation to split the internal oblique and transversus abdominis muscle or it can be used to cut tough structures like linea alba or external oblique aponeurosis. These are Spencer Wells hemostatic forceps, commonly known as artery forceps. Now the blades are provided with transverse serrations and the tips of hemostatic forceps are conical and non-toothed. So how will you differentiate it from a needle holder? Needle holder is relatively heavier instruments and the blades of the needle holder will have criss-cross serrations and there will be a groove in center of the needle holder. Now the artery forcep is used to hold the bleeding vessels while cutting through the different layers of tissues or it can be used to hold the margins of the hold the cut margins of the structures while making an abdominal incisions or during the closure of the incision. Now how will you control the bleeding while making an incision? The answer is uh, you may control it by a simple pressure. Fine capillary bleedings will simply be controlled by a simple pressure with a mop. You may use artery forcep to crush the bleeding point. Now the crushing of the bleeding point will cause the curling of the tunica media and intima inwards which will result in occlusion of the lumen of the vessel. Or you may hold the bleeding point with the hemostatic forcep and apply a diathermy to the hemostatic forcep which will result in coagulation. Or you may use a ligature like chromic gadgut to control the bleeding. Now what is primary hemorrhage? Primary hemorrhage is one in which the bleeding occurs during the operation or at the time of the injury. Reactionary hemorrhage occurs within 24 hours following the operation or injury. This may be due to slippage of the ligature or dislodgement of the clot. Secondary hemorrhage occurs within 7 to 14 days and this is usually due to infection or sloughing of the vessels. This is mosquito hemostatic forcep. This is used to hold the fine bleeding vessels during the operations like cleft lip operation or used in circumcision. This is usually used for the operation in infants and children where the vessels are delicate. This is Cocker's hemostatic forcep. These forceps have tooth in one blade and a groove in the other blade. And this type of forceps is suitable for holding vessels in tough structures like palm, soles and the scalp.
This is Mixtor's right angle artery forcep or Lahe's forcep. The terminal part of the blade are bent at right angle to the shaft of the instrument and there are transverse regions in the blade. And due to this uh, bent, right angle bent in the shaft, this is usually used to pass the ligature around the dissected vessel. This is Blalock's needle holder. There are crisscross serrations in the blade and there is a longitudinal groove in the center of the crisscross serrations which allows for the firm gripping of the needle. And the needle is usually held at the junction of anterior two-third and the posterior one-third for ease of suturing. This is Rampley's swab holding forcep. This is a long instrument in which the blades are oval and fenestrated and provided with serrations on the inner aspect. Now why is the instrument long? So that, so that the surgeon is able to apply the antiseptic solution to the skin without touching the unsterile field of operation. And also swabbing can be done at the depth. Now usually for the abdominal operation the skin from the mid chest to mid thigh is cleaned. This is Alice tissue forcep. The tip of the blades are provided with sharp teeth with grooves in between. And after you close the blades, there will be gap in between the blades which can accommodate some amount of tissue. This is used to hold the tough structures like flap, fascia, aponeurosis or sheath. This is Babcock's tissue forcep. The terminal part of the blades are curved and fenestrated and as there are no teeth on the terminal part, this is a non-traumatic forcep. This can be used to hold the tubular structures like a fallopian tube, appendix or ureter or to hold intestine or gallbladder. This is Doyen's cross section type towel clip. It is used for fixing the draping sheets and used for fixing the diathermy cables. Now what is draping? Draping is a suitable placement of sheets to isolate the area of operation from rest of the body and draping of the operation sites reduces the contamination from the adjacent skin areas. This is Dever's retractor. It can be used to retract right or left lobe of liver in the operations like cholecystectomy or truncal vagotomy respectively. It can be used to retract the stomach or it can be used to retract the abdominal wall as well. This is C retractor. These are L retractors. This is self retaining abdominal retractor Balfour's type. This has also a provision for attachment for the third blade. This is Maury's retractor. This is Young Cure Suction Canola. This is Suction Tip. This is Bone Nibbler, Double Action. This is bone cutter, double action. Punch biopsy forcep. This is Raynaud's vascular clamp. This is Cheetah's forcep. This is Doyon's straight intestinal occlusion clamp. 
the blades are lighter and there are vertical serrations in the blade and this instrument is used for gut resection and anastomosis this is cord holding forcep this is used during hernia operation to hold the spermatic cord so that the cord can be retracted during the repair of posterior wall of the inguinal canal this is cali's rectal speculum commonly known as proctoscope there is an outer hollow sheath with a handle which is called the scope and there is inner rod which is called the obturator and the terminal part of the obturator is smooth and rounded to avoid the trauma its diagnostic use are it can be used for diagnosis of piles or anal or rectal polyp, polyp or carcinoma of anal canal or rectum or diagnosis of ulcerative colitis or to find the internal opening of the perianal fistula for therapeutic use it can be used for injection of piles or it can be used during polypectomy